All right, so uh, this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. It is Friday. That means it's time for another book review. And this book review is by someone that you have seen in The Secret. Well, actually, if you've seen The Secret, then you, uh, you've you seen this person in there. He's an author of multiple books. His name is Joe Vitale. Um, he's a best-selling actor of a book called The Attractor Factor. And, of course... He's in the hit movie, The Secret. The book that I'm talking about today is called The Key. And I wish it was a more popular book. This is one of those books where Joe, he really expands upon a lot of the ideas that were talked about in the movie, The Secret. If you don't know what The Secret is, I uh, did another blog post on that. Most people already know what it is. But if you don't know what it is, I did another video in it. I'll make sure to put a link in the, in the description of this video. And um. You know what? Did a little marketing uh, when he made his headline. I'm not sure if he uh, made this up or if he hired someone, but he basically said the missing secret for attracting anything you want. And so, you know, using the word the secret, the missing secret, you know, kind of interesting. What's cool about this book is that, first of all, it it expands on the idea that uh, Joe and, and John Osaraf and Bob Proctor and all these other people, they talk about in the secret and he gives you homework to do in between chapters. If you know anything about me, love doing homework, um, especially if it gets me closer to my dreams. And you ever read one of those books where you just can't put it down, you start turning the pages, and it's just so interesting. That happened to me with uh, The Da Vinci Code, that book that came out like 10 plus years ago. Was it that long? Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. It was quite a while back. You know, I just kept turning the pages. Some people were like that with the Harry Potter series. This book wasn't like that. This book, The Key, wasn't one of those books that I just kept turning the pages and just wanting to know more information. And you might think, well, that's a bad thing. It's actually the opposite. It's awesome that this book did that. After every chapter, after I wanted to do the homework, I wanted to apply the knowledge that I learned in this book. There's books that'll make you... Um, keep reading because it's the content's so interesting. There's books that are so boring that you want to put the book butt down. And then there's books that are so inspirational and so motivational that you can't help but to stop reading and implement the information that's within them. And this is one of those books. I'm surprised I haven't done a book review on this one. And it's actually, tell you the truth, it's been a little while since I've read this book, The Key, and I'm going to have to read it again uh, well before the year's in. It's the middle of December right now. Um, I'm probably going to, I want to put my mind in the right mindset for the new year. And so I'm going to be reading the key, uh, you know, in the next uh, week or so and just really refreshing, uh, refresh my mind once again. So I trust you got some good value out of this book review. What I invite you to do is this, to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, if you want to see more videos just like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. You can put your name and email in. You're going to get an awesome audio on growing your business. And basically the schedule is like this. On Mondays, I do network marketing tips. On Tuesdays, I do personal development tips. And on not Tuesdays, Mondays, network marketing tips, Tuesdays, uh, no, Wednesdays, sorry, I do personal development tips, and Fridays, I do book reviews, so Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, do book reviews, network marketing, then personal development, and then a book review, or a movie review, or a podcast review, some sort of review, and uh, remember this, every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles, and we only got to do two things about those miracles, we got to recognize those miracles, and then of course, accept them. All right, take care and create a great day.